Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of A Truck Driver Plays American Truck Simulator. So, guys, what's going on out there? How y'all doing today? So, guys, anyway, we're going to get right into the episode. So, uh, first thing I want to show you, uh, my Freightliner. I found an updated version of this truck, and I got to be honest with you. It looks a little better than the last version I had. I mean, look at it. It it looks a little better. Um, link in the description if you guys want that one. Um, so it's it is upgraded for uh, 144 and up. So it it's for 144 and 145. Um, and like I said, I you know I tested it out. Seems to drive better and everything. So. No, we got that one, and we are still doing the Marvin's windows. Well, I know the last episode we did doors. We had a load of doors, but the company is called Marvin Window and Door. And so today, you know, we got the same thing. We got a load of doors, and we're going to be heading down to Memphis. Mm. Okay. CB is running right now. Messing up my intro. Uh, another thing I did, guys. Um, the K Dog's uh, Big Map mod. It was updated, and it is the last update for the 144. Um, the last one I had was the K Dog's. Uh, it was the rework, and it had a few bugs in it. You know, when we got to the to the Virginia line, the state line, you know, there was a visible wall. And then uh, I was playing this the other day, and you couldn't get into Myrtle Beach because the game would crash. So today we're heading to Memphis. We're going the, the exact same way, so we're going to see if that invisible wall has been moved or not. But uh, like I said, I used it, I tested it out once, and... You know, the direction I went, it was pretty good, but we're going a different direction today, so. We're going to see, though. We're going to see. All right, so let's look at our manifest here. Let me pull my manifest up. Hopefully, I can get the right button because I can't. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's the GPS. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we got a load of doors. It's going down to Memphis. It's expected between 5 p.m. and 9.22 p.m. Hmm, that's kind of a short window, but okay. And it pays $25.67 because I'm using the real economy mod. So, yeah. All right, so let's see here. All right, well, I mean, I guess let's get going. I mean, ain't no point in sitting, keep sitting here talking. Let's fire up. And I'm using the uh, the cat cat engine mod with the straight pipes, straight pipe sound. It sounds pretty good. All right, so. But yeah, like I said, this truck has been updated. As you can see, you know, the GPS is in a pretty good place. Y'all know I have problems with that because I don't like it sitting right there in the corner of the window or at the bottom of the windshield right there because I can't see. But yeah, so check it out. Like I said, this is the updated version. Hop on back here to the back. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. All right, so let's get going, man. Let's get going. We don't spend enough time on the intro and, and stuff. Honestly, I can make more money truck driving than I can staying at home working EMS fire. I worked 48 hours since where I lived at. Oh, oh brake was already off. Okay, that's my engine brake that's on. All right. All right, so let's head to Memphis. It is early in the morning. Mm, Y'all know what? The GPS on the windshield where it's located at. The CB wire is in the way. <laughs> well, damn, man. I just can't win. So I'm going to take this uh, off. I want to take this GPS off. Uh, yeah, 
that's, I know. There we go. There we go. So we're going to try. I'm going to try this Jeep. Because look at it. Because check out the GPS in the window. If you've seen some of my last videos, I was complaining about it because it was too dark. I mean, look, it's light. So, uh, there we go again. All right, let's just go. I need to get that tracker IR. Are you down there about an hour from where I live? Where are you from, driver? Van Buren, Arkansas. Yeah, Head on down to Memphis and get some of that barbecue. I'm not gonna start worrying until I start seeing freight slow down. As as you know, I spent three weeks in Memphis and never did get no Memphis barbecue. Because I'm a North Carolina barbecue person myself. I like North Carolina barbecue. But they kept talking about the Memphis barbecue, so I actually wanted to try it. But in my defense, you know, I rode the bus down there and I didn't have my car, so couldn't get really get to many places. All right, so we might want to put this in first gear. Stop and get some fuel along the way. Close that gap right there. So can't nobody get beside you. All right, what does that say? Levi's? Leave it. What does that say? Yeah, Levi's. Oh. I added some uh, cargo trailer packs too. So I'm trying to see if I see them. That's got to be one of them. Y'all know me. Sometimes I forget what gear I'm in. I do that in real life, though. I forget. I forget quickly what gear I'm in. All right, let's cut our Jake brake on here. Oh, the Jake brake's a little louder. So this cat engine mod that I have, the engine sounds like the Jake. I'm trying to see if the Jake brake is going to be louder. Because the last one I had, the Jake brake, I couldn't hear it. Man. So I'm trying to see if the Jake brake is going to be a little louder. On, oh, you asshole. Damn it. Are y'all going to let me over? Run up traffic. Look like a policeman got somebody, something going on over there. I see flashing lights. Another thing I did, I went through the game and I cleaned up some of them mods that I wasn't even using. And the game seemed to run a lot better. It runs a lot better, I think. Here we go again already. Something happened right there. I hit somebody. I mean, great day. There's a lot of things happening this morning on 81. I need to fix the mirrors though. I mean, I can see a little bit out of it. Oh, there you go. Okay. 
This one definitely needs to be fixed. Look, I can't see nothing out of that one. But I got those two mirrors right there on the hood, too. for wildlife, all right. So, yeah, but... So this cat engine mod that I'm using, I think... It's like the three... It's, it's something. I know the last one in the last video I was using was the N. N5, like N15 or something like that. So when I put this truck in the game, you know, this version of, of this truck... When I was going down the road, I noticed that uh, hold on, because this one might be doing the same thing. Well, it's not that bad, but it seems like it wants to change another gear. I mean, look at my RPM. Well, no, this one ain't, ain't as bad because, like I said the other day when I was playing it, when I put the truck in here, you know, it's the same truck, so it kept the same engines and stuff. And the RPMs, like, it was like up to 20 when I was in 18th gear. Like it wanted to change another gear. So this one's doing a little better. It's right at 15. I don't think it shouldn't be up that high. Well, I think the ratio might be off just a little bit. Like I said, you know, um, the link to this truck could be in the description. And I gotta be honest, like I said, it, it was it's better than the last mod. It's better than the last one, the one I was driving last week. It seemed to be, you know. It's still not pulling because, well, Y'all know I'm bankrupt on this game, so I gotta I had to get the cheapest engine they had, so I think I got the 500 horsepower. Sorry, y'all. I can't get over. We got somebody pulled over over there, and I couldn't get over. This early morning traffic here it don't seem that bad though but we're not really in the city or anything right now so.
Is that somebody else pulled over? Yo, the police are busy this morning. Police are real busy. And I know I didn't check my mirror when I got over, but I got those two mirrors on the hood. That's what I'm looking at right now. Got those two mirrors right there on the hood. In which I couldn't use them before because as y'all know, the GPS was always in the way. But check out the GPS though. Most of the GPSs I've had, they get dim, like when it get daylight. I mean, look, that one's still lit up, so that's what I like about it. I do like that one. All right, so we ended Project Mid-Atlantic right there. I'm trying to have we crossed the state line? Because I'm trying to see if that wall is still there. Can't get over, I got a car beside me. Oh, you way back here. I could have got over. But that's all right, we're going up here past Bois RC. But if you watched the last episode, you noticed the FPS drops and stuff. Now that I've removed those mods, I mean, look, it's, it's running smoothly. So that's another tip right there. If, if your game is having FPS drops and you know it's kind of a little hesitant, remove some of the mods you're not using. I mean, that was one right there, but that's the first one I've seen since we started. Doing, you know, did I switch up to 18th gear? Yep. Yeah, we're gonna have to stop and get fuel soon. So let me break out the map real quick while we move in here. Let me see. Oh, we got one right up here. Let's see. Oh, so the invisible wall. Where am I at? Wait a minute before I speak. Oh, I'm right here. And the invisible wall was like right here, right? So it's not there no more. But we're gonna pull off over here because I'm going to get some fuel. We're going to get some fuel and some coffee and some donuts. You know how we do it. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, crap. He was right there in my blind spot. I did not see him. Damn. You would think the way I play this game that how, how am I a truck driver in real life? It's a, it's a video game. It's a little different, you know. It's just a little different. Like I can't move my head freely and turn and look. Stuff like that. But he was right in my blind spot. I even used a mirror on the hood. That's what I thought. That's what that was for. I think, uh, yeah, because, okay, that's what I thought. Stop and get my coffee and donut. Maybe some water, you know, for later on. bathroom do all that stuff up here wait a minute hold on it said no, it, it had a sign there that said no trucks so am I getting ready pulling the I'm getting ready pulling the wrong entrance hold on Yep, I'm getting ready to pull in the wrong. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I seen that. Okay, so we must got to go up the road a little piece. I'm glad I seen that because, damn. Yeah, I 
Right here go to truck entrance right here. Okay. There's the F that go to sign. Truck entrance. I'm just pulling on in there. I, I wasn't even paying no attention. So let's get out and fuel up. And that's it, she full. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and head on to Memphis. Now that I got my coffee, I'm going to skip the donut because I'm, I'm saving my hunger for some of that barbecue. So we're going to save that hunger. here let's look make sure ain't nothing coming but you know we might want to put it in a different gear check out that international sure we can what is that TNT I think those internationals are ugly. Like the international that just pulled in. I don't know. I don't really like him. I think they're a little ugly. I don't know. I just don't like the look of it. And I'm pretty sure it's an expensive truck, too. Say somebody's ass in caught on fire. This CB chatter, they be talking some crazy shit. Stop and relax to crack a barrel. Now, why they gotta pick on JB Hunt all the time? JB Hunt and Swift. Hate us. Don't be mad because they'll do it a little cheaper. They'll haul that freight a little cheaper. They can afford to do that because they always got new drivers. People are always quitting. And Swift got his own school. But at least I think they still got their own school. So they got new drivers coming in every day.
right? Is that overcasted? Is that what's going on? I think I don't see much sunshine. Oh, wait a minute. Forgot what gear I was in. But with me just removing those old mods that I wasn't using, like, the game looks a lot better. I can't believe how, just by doing that, how much difference it does make. And another, I know another mod I, I found in the Steam Workshop was the road mod. You see how, see how the road looks better? It's, it's, uh, they had a mod in there that fixed the roads. It's like blacker roads because after update 140 like the cement roads got a little bit bright and you couldn't see the lines in the road so yeah the road looks a lot better now at least i can see the lines in it i'm trying to figure out is it getting ready to rain or storm or something because it looks overcast See how the RPMs are doing? Like I can change, like it looks like I can change another gear so the ratio's off somewhere. Something's off. Cause the RPM shouldn't be that high in eighth gear. I mean the 18th gear. Y'all know what I mean. Better stop looking. I'm trying to be nosy. I'm trying to see what's over there. Ain't nothing on that side. Getting ready to get on 40. Is that what's happening here? Everybody, they always got to stop right there. I'm going out there. I'm going around. Them. We got 200 and some miles before we get to Memphis. I thought that CB. Uh, I thought that CB, the CB core would be in the way, but it's not It's not really that bad. I can still see. Maybe I should have tried the long one. And my AC just kicked on, so I hope you guys can't hear that. I thought I had it down enough to where it wouldn't kick on. We got 200, what's that, 270 or 210? I went by it so fast I couldn't see the sign. <laughs> Little drop top Mustang. Better put that up because it looks like it's going to rain. He getting ready to get wet. ready to get wet like because it looked like it's gonna rain or something. Yeah. 
crash view. Mustang doing? I couldn't get over. He went by me flying like a bat out of hell. And then he get up the road, he slows down. Look. I'm through Cookville. See that on the GPS up there? Cookville. I wonder where I was at. Got red something coming up beside me. Might be able to get over after that red car go to the burgundy one go. Yeah, I can get over. Prius went rolling up beside. I guess that's a Prius. They by me so fast. Oh, it's two Priuses. Look at them side by side up there. See the cement? See how bright it is? Can't even see the lines in the road. So I don't think we can go no faster than 75. I don't think, oh, it looks like it's going on up. Cause see how the RPM, looks like I can change another gear. That's what I'm saying, like, I mean, it ain't as bad as that other engine I had, but it's still acting like it. Memphis is a nice little ride though. It is a nice little ride, especially when you're riding a Greyhound bus.
Huntsville. What we got now? See, 156. get on up past these two. those on the back of that one. What we got is that 97 miles to go. some construction was coming up because I seen something flashing. I was like, what is that flashing? They doing something on the side of the road up there. Jackson, Memphis. He backing up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was going on there? That was a hell of a traffic jam. Little Rock, 200 miles.
Okay. I was looking for my soda. I was like, where's my soda? Oh, and they're going to let me go? Oh, oh shoot. They let me go through the scale. They ain't even pull me in. Here in Memphis, oh, okay. Oh, I think we here. All right, so let me get my. Uh... Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. I don't need them right now. That's what I need right there, so I can. What? Oh, whoa! Oh, what is going on? What is going on here? What is this? What is going on? Oh, I think somebody done hit each other. A little accident done happened. Is that what happened? A little accident happened? Looked like that's what happened. Yeah, he backing up. Oh, now he's going to start going. That little Jeep, he, he must be the one that can't drive. He just all over the road. Oh, <laughs> I almost got that little Hellcat. He almost got it. All right, here we go. We're in Memphis. Oh, I didn't put my GPS back up there. There we go. Going on light. Ah, there, there we go. Oh, there we go, getting sleepy. FPS drop when we got here to Memphis. Dropped a little bit.
All right, come on, light girl. These lights take forever. Yeah, oh, there we go. Up. Oh. Yep, that's how you know I'm tired. Scraping, grinding. Where are we going here? Where are we going? Is that it? We're going to the construction site? I think we're going to this construction site right here. They need some doors. Yep, that's where we're going. All right. Yeah, those mirrors need to be fixed. Let's see where they want it. Oh, right there. Oh, I got a line of traffic behind me. But they want it right there beside that, what's that, mobile house uh, unit thing? All right, I think I got this. I think I know what to do. over so we don't hit that fence back there. Yeah, we cleared it. There we go. Okay, something's in the way. What are we hitting now? Did we actually hit the fence? Oh, we all up on the fence. Look at that. I didn't pull out wide enough. Oh, shut up, blowing your horn. Oh, shut up, I blow mine too. There it go, okay. We didn't pull out wide enough. Sitting there working on the bobcat. That ain't good. Why is he standing on top of the bricks? He need to have his ass out there laying them and putting them up on the building. He's standing on top of them. Look. Why is he doing that? Get out and look here. See what we got. Okay.
Using mirrors for right now. <laughs> I'm over here running over some hose or something that's laying in the way. take it right there but I'm gonna straighten up a little bit so I'm not sure why they had me pull it right here I don't I, mean, I guess they could take that bobcat and unload the doors I know the doors and windows are usually down stacked they're not on pallets or anything Right there. All right, that's good. Right there. All right. So, all right, guys. So that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you leave me a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. You guys have a great day and thank. You.